Hi guys, this is Sebastian here from Play Plunder Pirates and today I'm gonna show you the menus, some quests and in the end the giant crab attack. Okay, let's start. Here we see the treasure where you can buy like a lot of gems, box of gems, chest of gems and of course you can stop stock up your gold storage or of course your grog storage so the treasure is basically your liquor stay around your liquor store around yeah and here we can recruit some pirates so we have our buccaneer and the gunner the gunner basically has some range and therefore he is a little bit more expensive And if we want to have these other pirates, we have to create some additional buildings like a voodoo hut. I'm really looking forward to it because I remember the cars of Monkey Island with Guybrush throughput. And the voodoo hut was always fun. So here we can create some pirates. We can recruit them in the tavern with some grog. And the more grog we have, the better pirates we can recruit, of course. Awesome! Um, it's very nice that you can reach the recruit menu if you click on the tavern or in the left on the left side of your menu, just below the gems. Here's a guild chat. I'm not a member of a guild, so I can't chat right now. Here's our logbook, which is quite nice because you have everything here: attack log, defense log, leaderboard. Um, you can see it's like the first day um, I recorded this video like on the day when Plunder Pirates came out so we don't even have more than 84 players worldwide which is really awesome so if you join now if you join today you really have an awesome chance to go very high in the leaderboard and to fight against Skywash or Michael Malwolf and so on so yeah, we've been here before. Um, yeah, we investigated the leaderboard. Then we have the guild leaderboard. I'm not a member of a guild, and as you can see, there are just five guilds all over the world right now. This game is really brand new, so join now, join today. You can sign to Facebook. To see which of your friends are online. Since I'm in Germany and the game's only out in Canada, there won't be so many. And here you can see the settings. I can't change the language right now. And you have the game credits like all the people who are involved in the games from Rovio and Midoki. Thank you again, guys, for creating such an awesome game. Here you can see the market with the treasure. We've been here before. But this is the second way you can reach it. The resource buildings like Builder's Hut, Grog Distillery, I love it again. Gold mine and some stuff coming soon. Uh, let me build a second Builder's Hut. Oh, quest completed. Awesome. So you can see some quests and I can get my reward. Another reward, 25 exploration points, awesome! Okay, what else do we have here? Here's my shield, so basically you can buy a shield like in Clash of Clans. I never did it and I cannot recommend doing it, doing it here in Plunder Pirates because what you want to do is attack. So don't protect yourself with a shield because the shield will be gone as soon as you attack. So it makes no sense to spend your gems for it. Spend gems to buy another builder set to accelerate your gameplay. So here you find different buildings like a tavern, lighthouse, voodoo hut. And as you can see I cannot build them because I don't have the pirate hall in level 2. Oh the blacksmith, observatory, so lots of nice awesome buildings to look for. Here are our decorations, they are basically for free up till now so there's a plant and what the fuck a buried anchor <laughs> 
fish that you... Okay, I'm really looking forward to get all these decorations. Look much better than in Clash of Clans. Okay, let's buy... Let me build the plant. And... Da, 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 da. Rotate it a little bit. So what you see here, you can rotate every building. Even after you build it, you can rotate it. Which is quite nice, so you can really create your pirate base as you want. So it's really much better than in Boom Beach or Clash of Clans because you didn't have this opportunity there. Okay, what else do we have? Here's a rocky outcrop, so that's basically like a tree or stone in Boom Beach. And if you want to get rid of it to expand your base, you have to spend some grog! Oh, the pirates won't be happy if you spend some grog for stones instead of some pirates. <laughs> and you can see a hammock, which is so quite nice. Take a look. I wonder if a pirate will jump into it. This would be ridiculous awesome. Okay. Shield, you have seen this before. Okay, I need a guild hall to join a guild. And here's a plunder menu. You can basically go for a single player mission or multiplayer missions. There's my gold mine. I can collect. Some rock. Here's my tavern. Let's go and recruit. And now I show you the quests. So. You have some building quests, you have some egg tech quests and some exploration quests. So here are the building quests, what you can see is like, um, you don't really have to look for this. I mean, the more you build, you will automatically get these rewards. So here are fighting quests, which is quite nice. You can get a lot of gems, because I need more gems for more building hubs to accelerate my gameplay. And so building quests, okay. Um, and what I want to show you now is how I attack a crab. So, you can see giant enemy crab. So, oh, we have a merchant ship, Mondo Chark, <laughs> ridiculous, uh, giant enemy crab, and we want to hit it. We go towards it, one second left, another six seconds left, and there we go. So the start, the fight will start now, it will take like eight minutes, and I wonder if I will be successful. Giant enemy crab, twice on stalks can be a Okay, it will take eight minutes. So let's take a time jump. Woo! And 30 seconds left. And what happened here is basically there was a bug because the game is still kind of in beta. And I needed to restart the game because there was no button to click anymore. Nothing happened. So I simply restarted. Boom! And so I'm back to my base. What you want to do is go to plunder, explore the seas, and then you see... No! Lost at sea. It's not all bad, okay, at least I got some exploration points, but I guess I lost all my troops. Eaten by a monster! No! Pirates lost! Okay. So, guys out there, I recommend don't go there with like 10 pirates, wait until you have at least 20 of them. Okay, I guess that's for today. Um, yeah, if you have any questions for me, just drop me a comment. Um, if you enjoyed the video, of course, give me a like. And for more awesome Plunder Pirates videos, which will definitely help you, simply subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Sebastian, out.